What's up guys, welcome to the 30 day 30 tutorial teach to learn challenge where I learn something new every day, create something sexy and make a video tutorial on it. Today I'm not creating anything but I'm actually gonna break down Sam Calder's new vlog. If you haven't seen it, check it out now. I'm really excited to break down this video because last week we broke down Sam Calder's creative process video which got really technical. Even though that video was higher production, I think we, or at least I, will learn more from breaking down this video. The reason I say that is because he was able to capture my attention span for 12 whole minutes and that is hard to do. When it comes to filmmaking, story is king, then comes characters, then comes actors, and further down the totem pole comes editing, and at the very, very, very bottom is transitions. But people on YouTube love glamorizing transitions and their LUTs. So what I'm trying to say is... Sign up for my mailing list for early bird discount for my storytelling presets at $29.99. All right, but seriously though, there are presets, storytelling presets. It's in the video link description below. It's not mine, it's from Skillshare and it's not an affiliate link. So go check it out. It's really good. It's really useful. More on that later. All right. I'm going to I'm going to mention that. All right. Let's get let's get started with the video. All right. Setting the scene. So I was out in Southeast Asia keeping it low key as I was planning my next mission. Storytelling mission. I'm hooked. Hey, Keith, how are you? White dude speaking the local language. I'm intrigued. So the first few seconds of a video, especially a YouTube video, is the most important thing. If you look at your video retention rate, the biggest drop off is right in the first few seconds and in the first minute. So how do we hook the viewers? Boom, we introduce the problem. I love this drop sub plot. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm not being facetious here. It actually reminds me of one of my favorite one-liners from my favorite film, The Room. And I'm dying. You're not dying, Mom. I got the results of the test back. I definitely have breast cancer. Look, don't worry about it. Everything will be fine. And never again was breast cancer mentioned. But you know what? Things like that kept me watching. And it's, it's literally my favorite film. I've seen it like a hundred times. The mission to explore outside of the new massively popular destination Bali and see what else Indonesia has to offer. Even though this is just a travel vlog, it really helps that there is a goal because every film should have a goal, no matter how simple it is. The goal for Lord of the Rings is very simple. Frodo needs to drop the ring into Mordor and that's it. It wasn't going to be easy, but I knew I had to put together a solid team. Hey, Chip. Hey, Sam. Uh, yeah. Ah, okay. What I do? I had to bring along the best in the game. Introducing the team. Filmmaker Bryn North and adventure photographer Chelsea Kawhi. It wasn't gonna be easy. No floating breakfasts or daily massages. So after one minute, the video begins. The travel vlog begins. We started our journey on the island of Lombok. In the last 30 seconds, we've had a new song, dialogue, a travel montage, and a new scene. So even if this video is long, it's action-packed and it keeps you engaged. And even if this video turns out shitty, like a lot of Michael Bay films, you can't look away because there's just so much going on. There's so many new, diverse elements. We would spend two days hiking in the mountains near Mount Rinjani, an incredibly beautiful volcano found in the northern part of Lombok. So what do we see here? We see a diversity of shot, wide, medium, close, macro. He could have just played this montage through, but he added that interruption right in the middle on purpose. They say that every 10 seconds we need to be introduced a new element, otherwise we get distracted and lose our attention. So 10 seconds later, we have this thing happening. <laughs> I had to trim the grass a little bit, you know? It's getting a little long here. <laughs> and now 10 seconds later, we have more dialogue. So after 
long day of hiking, made it to the crater rim, and we just experienced an insane sunset. His music tends to have a theme of build-up, climax, and resolution. Alright, so two and a half minutes in, we're on our third song. Hey boy, are you awake, brother? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's go. As cheesy as it sounds, just like in life, especially in vlogging, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And so often when we're filmmaking, it's always like, alright, I'm gonna take my camera out when we get there because that's what we wanna film. But actually, the most interesting part might not be the top of the mountain. It's probably the journey of hiking up the mountain. Like, the top of the mountain might just have clouds, but the journey could include... Well, we'll, we'll see the video. Let's rock and roll and start this climb. Yeah, we gotta go. So, diversity in elements, music... shot selection, and also camera selection. FPV drone shots are so sick. From Lombok, we headed to Gili Trawangan, also known as Gili T, where we would do a ton of diving and see some incredible sunsets on the ocean. New location, new music, new intro, new build up music. Let's go. I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit here just because when it comes to a longer video we usually learn a lot from the beginning and from the end so we'll skip ahead a few minutes <laughs> we are rushing to try to make our last flight of the day to get to Bim Tan and it's final boarding just made it to Gary and our luggage didn't make it. We don't have our luggage. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna stop here because they've introduced another element, which is that they're shooting off of a smartphone and they're introducing a problem. So we missed our flight to Bim Tam. Classic. Basically, I guess I'll give you guys a little bit of insight into my editing. A little like side story, subplot. <laughs> And there's even subtle character development, like he's learning how to shoot with drones and stuff like that. There's a consistent theme. New elements, new music, pattern interruptions, like this is what makes an engaging video. <laughs> to our first destination which is a waterfall in this beautiful mountainous area but uh, the lightning is starting to come in fast and we don't know if we'll make it in time hopefully another little problem is introduced we might just get a little bit wet how's this view bro it's dope but there's nothing for me to fly my drone through a minute later, another problem. Like every minute, there's a little new challenge that's introduced. Like this is actually a story arc archetype. A story preset, a storytelling preset, right? This is the hero's journey, and this follows this preset, the archetype of a hero's journey and overcoming obstacles. Video link to Skillshare tutorial on this below. That's where I got this graph from. Not affiliated. So, uh, I think, uh, Brian, I might have to ask you to spread your legs. <laughs> I'm down. Let's do it. Yeah, that'll fit. 
I love this drone crashing theme. It's like the perfect set of challenges. It's funny, it works out. Classic. Catch it. As good as new. I feel like most people would just go on with the montage for like two minutes and then it's like two minutes of dialogue. But the thing is that our intention span has decreased so much over time. Videos get shorter and shorter, transitions get crazier and crazier. We need pattern interruptions and for him to do that like every 20 seconds, like that's the future of YouTube vlogging filmmaking. Cool, man. All right. Awesome vlog. I actually learned so much from breaking this down. Once again, I just want to say that it's just so important to analyze videos and break down videos that speak to you. Like for me, it's a daily habit. Like on the treadmill today, I created a playlist for my morning run and it included only videos that speak to me that were shot on beaches and islands because next month I have a gig in Tahiti and French Polynesia. So I needed to source my inspiration. And once I narrowed down some of the videos I like, I really had to break it down to minute details just like this and then take little bits and create something that's my own. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video and just remember that storytelling is king. That's what's important. That's what's going to get you repeat client deals. So anyways, Enough talking, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm sure there's a lot more to learn. Tomorrow's a whole new day. I'm creating a tutorial every day, so I'll see you guys tomorrow.